In the year 1922, a young man of 15 years old shows up for his first day of work at a small vehicle repair shop in the city of Tokyo, Japan. The owner had doubts about whether the boy was really ready for this kind of work, so he gave him the job of cleaning the workshop and taking care of the owner's child instead. At that time, nobody gave it much thought, neither did it matter to them, but that is only because they were unaware of who this child would develop into in the future. After a few decades had passed, the young guy named Soichiro Honda was now going up against some of the most well-known and successful vehicle brands in the world while simultaneously being the owner of the most successful motorcycle brand. This is the tale of how a young boy from a low-income family in Japan went from working as a babysitter to founding a company that is now worth several billions of dollars. Early Life Soichiro Honda was born on November 17, 1906 in Komyo Village, Iwata District, Jizouka, near Hamamatsu. He spent his childhood helping his father, blacksmith Gihei Honda, with his bicycle repair business. Mika Honda, his mother at the time, was a weaver. He was a very curious person since childhood. He was very attracted to making new things like tools and machines, and he was very curious about cars and vehicles, like how cars and vehicles work and how they are made. He used to find all these things and questions very interesting. Honda had no desire to pursue a traditional education. His school distributed great reports to the students, but they had to be returned stamped with a family seal to ensure that a parent had seen them. So Honda made a stamp out of a used rubber bicycle paddle cover to forge his family seal. He was not very good in school and was more interested in gaining practical knowledge than theoretical knowledge. So he dropped out and began working with his father at a bicycle shop. Honda had been enthralled by the first car he had ever seen in his village when he was a toddler. Later in life, he would often say that he would never forget the smell of oil it gave off, describing it as like perfume. Soichiro once took one of his father's bicycles to see a pilot show off an airplane he had built. This made him even more interested in machines and inventions. The Struggle he made the most important life decisions when he left his village to work as a mechanic at Art Shokai Company in Tokyo at the age of 15. The Art Shokai Company specializes in vehicle repair and maintenance. Soichiro sees it as an exciting opportunity to learn more about vehicles and improve his knowledge of them. In 1922, he began his apprenticeship at a garage. After some hesitation, he stayed at a car mechanic for six years before returning to home before returning home to start his auto repair business in 1928 at age 22. The experience Soichiro gathered while working in the garage helped him learn a lot, so much so that he started helping other senior mechanics and big employees with their work. In addition, he began explaining new and simple methods to others for their work and developing creative and simple tools that have made other people's work much easier. People began to respect him as a result. Everyone began to recognize Soichiro Honda's talent and capability, including the company's owner, who began teaching Honda about the company's business side. As a result, Honda gradually improved its business, and to achieve this growth, the company owner appointed Soichiro Honda as a branch manager. At the age of 22, Soichiro Honda became a manager and a very successful person. Initial success and hardships he left the positions of branch manager at that company in order to achieve his vision. To manufacture a piston ring, he needed to know many things, so he began learning about those things again. At night, he used to learn about piston rings, and in the morning, he used to make piston rings with different materials. He used to do it regularly, and he kept on doing it until and unless he didn't make the best quality piston ring and fulfill his vision. Then, after making the rings people wanted, he started selling them to big companies like Toyota. Everything was going perfectly. He was successful, but then he got a big shock. When a war broke out in China, most of his company's employees had to go fight in the war, leaving most women employees behind. Because of this, the women who worked for him didn't know how the cars were made. So Honda changed to fit the situations and atmosphere. With all of his efforts, he simplified all procedures so that even women could perform them easily. In 1936, Honda raced a turbocharged Ford at Tamagawa Speedway in the first Japan automobile race. Unfortunately, 
he was in a car accident and severely injured his left eye. His younger brother was also hurt. He then stopped racing. Honda established Takai Seiki in 1937 to manufacture piston rings for Toyota. During World War II, a U.S. B-29 bomber attack on Takai Seiki's Yamashita plant in 1944 destroyed it, and the Iwata plant collapsed in the 1945 Mikawa earthquake. Way to Entrepreneurship After the war, Honda sold what was left of the company to Toyota for $450,000. In October 1946, he used the money to start the Honda Technical Research Institute. In 1948, he started making the Type A, a fully motorized bicycle with Honda's first mass-produced engine. The Type A was sold until 1951. The Type D, introduced in 1949, was a true motorcycle with a pressed steel frame designed and manufactured by Honda and a two-stroke 98cc 3-horsepower engine, and it was the first model in the Dream series. The Type A and Type D models are both listed as landmarks of Japanese automotive engineering by the Society of Automotive Engineers of Japan. Honda gave a new start to his life with all his strength and belief. He started working again and formed his company, which he named Honda Motors. This time, he began working toward a long-held desire and dream. He established his motorcycle manufacturing company. Thus, he started making motorcycles. At first, he didn't have a lot of money. When he made a motorcycle, it was nothing. With that profit, he created many advanced motorcycles. When Soichiro motorcycles began winning motorcycle races, his motorcycles became very successful worldwide, and he became the largest motorcycle manufacturer. However, his success didn't stop there. He also considered manufacturing and making cars. The Department of Trade did not like this idea at the time because according to the department, the market was full of car making and manufacturing businesses that were all successful. So they thought there would be no place for Soichiro Honda's startup. However, Honda did not listen to them and as always listened to his heart and brain and began working on his prototype. As a result, he created an efficient and, st and strong model for the time, which was well received by everyone and even the department. Similarly, he proved everyone wrong and established himself in the car market. Honda has built a massive following based on customer satisfaction and dependability. Machines age over time, but not if you own a Honda. Honda automobiles are distinguished by their high-quality engines and proprietary fluid formulations. This is how a poor Japanese boy created history by creating this iconic brand. In the year 1991 on August 5th, Soichiro Honda died at the age of 85. He was survived by his spouse Sachi Honda. In his life, he wrote a book named Honda Par Honda. This is the story of Soichiro Honda, the founder of Honda Motor Co. Limited. What have you learned from his story? Share your learning in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Business Bio for more similar content. Until we meet again, take care.